Young Nails new confetti kit. We've got 12 new confettis. Greg is gonna show you some sparkle and design right now. This Memorial Day weekend, we have an amazing sale coming. And to make it even more amazing, we are launching this. Yes! The new Young Nails confetti kit. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. I mean, I am so excited because you guys, as you can see here, this is going to be absolutely an incredible amount of confetti to mix into your acrylic and gel designs. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use this as an ombre in your acrylic as well as your gel. You're gonna be able to apply this to many, many design applications. But just to give you guys an understanding on how amazing this is, let me show you how easy it is to work with right now. So what we wanna be able to do is we wanna be able to prepare the hand before application. I'm gonna go ahead and replicate, pushing back the cuticles, because that's what you wanna do on all 10 fingers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Arbor Band to remove shine from the surface of the nail trainer. So what I wanna be able to do is just gently work around the perimeter of the nail. I'm just going to lightly feather away. And a very, very gentle tickling motion to remove shine from the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare both of the fingers because the preparation is exactly the same for acrylic or hard gel. So just lightly feathering away. Don't need to use any aggressive pressure. Just a light tickling motion. I'm going to use swipe. I'm just going to pump that and clean the surface. If there's any wet residue, I could use a lint-free wipe just to kind of clean the surface. And this is going to set me up for protein bond. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply two coats. All right. From cuticle to free edge. I usually like to do one coat on all 10 fingers and then go back and do another coat through all 10 fingers again. All right, prepped and ready to rock and roll. So for acrylic, since I wanna to try to create a really, really nice ombre, I'm gonna be using cover pink, but I don't want the opacity of the pink to cover up the confetti. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the free edge and as I start layering up, I'm gonna layer it up high enough where when I cap it with clear, it's gonna look like it's embedded in glass. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take some of our cover pink, we have our liquid, and then we have our confetti. I'm gonna be working with Dawn Patrol, Lemonade Stand, and Lobster. So what I wanna be able to do is I'm gonna get my form, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-pinch the tip and go ahead and put this on here. I wanna be able to build a really nice extension with a lot of confetti on the free edge. And so I don't wanna put the acrylic down and then try to push the confetti into the acrylic because then if it's drying, it makes it really, really hard to get it like dense. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna kind of blend in some, some yellow, red, and blue, just right here in the middle, all right? And then that pile right there, I'm going to be using as soon as I pick up the acrylic. So I'm gonna submerse my brush, dab, 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 and then what I wanna do is just lightly touch it, right, so it's on the back side of the acrylic. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it off the back side of my brush so that it sticks to the acrylic. Now, I have all this beautiful confetti inside the tip. I'm going to work this all the way to the corner. Right. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to give me a really, really nice, right, thin and tight application. If I need a little bit more, I could always go back into the surface and grab a few pieces and just kind of push it into that surface. All right, so as you can see, right, I've been able to form this really, really nice free edge with all the confetti embedded inside. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna try to create a fade. So instead of using this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Speed Clear, okay? And I'm going to do kind of the same exact thing. I'm gonna submerse my brush. I'm going to grab a little bit and dab some of the confetti. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of roll that off right here in between. Then I'm gonna kind of use the tip of my brush just to kind of poke at it to separate some of the larger pieces from the smaller pieces. And if, again, if I don't have enough, I can continue to grab smaller pieces and kind of place them strategically in areas. Now what I can also do is I could grab a little bit of wet acrylic and I could just kind of lay that around the edges. And if I need to add more pieces, this is where you're going to be able to get into detail, right? To just kind of fill the space that you need. Now, here's the thing. I want it to look real dimensional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit more clear. I'm going to dab the surface and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put that right on top, just like this. And this is going to make it absolutely explode. This is gonna add a ton of dimension to the free edge. All right, so once we actually have this established, right, I need to make sure the free edge has enough strength. So we're gonna cap it in speed clear. I'm going to submerse my brush. I'm going to get a large bead of speed clear. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this right to the cuticle area and immediately work around the cuticle area and perimeter of the nail while the bead is running down over the tip and then I, you notice when I'm actually brushing it through I'm just kind of lightly brushing it down through the sides in the front to create that upper arch and as you can see from the side I still need to fill in all that space so again I'm going to come through I'm going to grab a nice healthy amount I'm going to set this right here allow that to run Right, that's what's going to give it the glass-like look. And then as it gets over the tip, I can lightly feather this over and overlay the whole entire thing. Okay, all right. So we're going to let the acrylic dry and start the gel application. And then once we're finished with the gel, we're gonna file them both into shape so that you can see exactly how they look. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to establish a foundation by applying base gel from cuticle to free edge. Notice that I split it and it creates these two columns. I'm gonna get my brush in between those two columns and pull it down so the legs, these legs get really tight to the edges. And this is a great way for me to establish a solid foundation. Nice even coat from cuticle to free edge. You can do this on all five fingers. And as soon as you're done, we're going to get it inside the light and cure it for a minimum of 30 seconds. I wouldn't worry about the time. I would literally get it inside the light and work on the other hand. And as soon as you're done doing the other hand, rotate and continue to work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to get a form. Um, once we get that nice and tight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the concealer pink and I'm gonna build a free edge flush to the tip. I'm just going to lightly squeeze it out so that the product attaches to the front. And once I have that really nice attachment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the body, continue to squeeze the product out to get it out to a really nice manageable length. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, you're going to be able to use your brush right to get it absolutely into perfection but this is going to be a really really easy way for you to be able to establish a free edge that's flush to the nail all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my brush and just lightly kind of touch the edges just to make sure my sides are absolutely perfect 
And then what I'm gonna do is just start working some of the confetti inside the tip. All right, don't get frustrated if some of it is, seems like it's actually coming up. What we're trying to do is we're trying to establish a foundation. So all I'm doing is just trying to work that confetti into the free edge, right? So that it actually sets up a really opaque background. All right, so again, I'm just gonna get that in. I'm trying to get this as even as we possibly can using the wedge of my brush just to get this tight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this directly inside the light. And again, if you're sculpting with gel, what you wanna be able to do is maybe a couple fingers at a time, two fingers go inside, work on the other hand, as soon as you're done, rotate and continue to work. I don't need to be in there for the full 30 seconds, right? I'm just gonna freeze it, right? So maybe after 10, I'm just gonna kinda of get a feeling for the free edge. All right, so I'm just gonna lightly kind of pinch it just to make sure it's it's nice and tight, right? And then what I could do is I could use this end of the, of the wand just to kind of slide it underneath, right? Just to make sure that we don't tear it. Then I can go ahead and remove this. Now, just to make sure that I've got a really nice cure, I'm just gonna get it right back inside the light. That way I'm gonna get it from underneath as well. Once we have the gel built out, I'm going to take clear sculptor, right? And I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the tile, okay? Now, I'm going to take a nice healthy amount on the end of my brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally from the center, I'm just going to kind of brush over the whole entire surface, just like this. You can see I'm just starting right here, kind of from the center all the way down over the whole entire tip. Now what I wanna be able to do with that wet surface is I'm gonna take more confetti, I'm just going to kind of pile it into the edge, creating dimension and creating that ombre into the natural nail. Trying to fill as much space as I possibly can. And then up here, Towards the natural nail, I could kind of be selective and I can kind of take smaller pieces with the tip of my brush and just kind of place them randomly. So it looks like it's kind of shooting up into the surface. All right, we just go ahead and get a little bit more, just kind of fill that space right here. Now, just to make sure that I secure the confetti, I need to get it inside the light so that I could build over the surface without pulling any of it off the free edge. Now I want to cap the whole entire nail. I'm going to take Clear Sculptor, I'm going to squeeze this out around the cuticle area and really focus on the perimeter, right? So real light contact around the edges. I don't want to work too aggressively because I don't want to get any bubbles. I just want to gently squeeze this out and then constantly work down towards the tip and then as I get into this area, I can start squeezing more to kind of fill the area, all right? And then what we wanna be able to do, if again, if you have clients that are sensitive to the nails, make sure that you freeze the product before you stick it inside the light. It's gonna go inside the light, all right? We're just gonna set this so that we can continue to build the upper arch. Last but not least, you have to make sure that you Fill in all of the low areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit more clear. I'm just gonna kind of work it down over the tip just to kind of fill in all the lower areas. And then one of the things that I like to do is once I have it on, you can literally turn the hand upside down just to kind of bring it all down to one spot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that inside the light. I'm gonna set this for one minute, final cure for a minute. After it's done curing, I'm gonna take it out. I'm going to cleanse the tacky layer with swipe, and then we're gonna file these into perfection, and then I will top gel it so that you guys can see the reveal. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna put protein bond on the surface, that way the top coats do not chip. You could use any of the top coats that you choose to use. I'm going to be using the Ultimate Finish Gel. First nail is acrylic. I'm 
And the next nail is gel. All right, I'm gonna get these inside the light cured for one minute. And you're gonna see how awesome the confetti looks like in gel or acrylic nails. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Also, if you didn't know, we're on so many other channels. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat. The list goes on. Please, please, please check us out.